we've heard that there are swans that come around some of the anchorages up the river here, and there's one there. They're so cute. So things are looking brighter, even though the sun's not out. That's, I guess, the message for today. Continuing our series on sailing the coast of Croatia, we pick up where we left off at the city of Split and start venturing further north. We headed out the harbor under gray skies and heavy ship traffic, but smiles on our faces after I successfully dodged a medical emergency to my eye. Right adjacent to Split is a smaller, charming town of Trojir. Here, we said our goodbyes to our friends Matt, Michelle, Dave, and Susie, and welcomed on board our next friends, Patty, Mike, and Mike's wife, Beth. Trujillo has no shortage of cobblestone alleys, attentive waiters, and armies of tourists coming out at night to get relief from the day's heat. It was time for us to move on, and we headed north with Patty, Mike, and Beth to the little island of Devanik. Looking a little like a relaxing Mr. Peanut, we were all alone here with just the orange hues of the setting sun, and later a brilliant display of the stars made more intriguing as Mike regaled us with his knowledge of the constellations. Sailing along this area of the Croatian coast necessitates a visit to the interior, following the twisty Kirka River to the Kirka National Park. Our first stop along the way was the town of Sibenik. All right, we are coming in towards the town of Sibenik. We're going up the river here. It's uh, pretty cool. It's very narrow. We were just sailing until just now, recently. We just took our sails down. We came in through this area down here. Drill in a little bit. And now we are cruising through this area, which is just lovely. These rocks are gorgeous. And that is the town of uh, Sabinic right in front of us. Sabinic offered free daytime dockage on the waterfront, perfect for a quick stop to take in the sights. Like many towns, they've worked hard to squeeze in outdoor performance venues wherever they could. In the town square, and the top of the St. Nicholas Fortress. No wonder, with this much outdoor scenery, who would want to be inside? Working our way up the river, you could feel the intensity of the sea fade away, and the peace and serenity one might find at a mountain lake unfold around you. We've heard that there are swans that come around some of the anchorages up the river here, and there's one there right by the point. A very nicely painted green day marker and light. So we have our friends Mike and Beth on board and also Patty. Patty was on board last year when we sailed through Mallorca. So we're pleased to have them with us on this stretch of our journey up the Croatia coast. So Mike and Beth haven't done a lot of sailing before so they've been eager, eager learners and helping out wherever they can for trimming sails and furling and unfurling the sails. So that's been a lot of fun. Patty was on board last summer so she knows her way around the boat a little bit better and uh, so she's on for her second cruise on Sea Rose. Perhaps another cruise in the future after that. So beautiful day here. This is June 22nd. Um, 
in Croatia, which is a holiday for them. It's called the Anti-Fascist Struggle Day. So some places are closed. We're hoping the boats that go up the waterfalls will be open. The waterfall itself should be open and not on holiday. Water's flowing every day. Um, so um, June 22nd, we had a nice celebration last night of summer solstice and we had a beautiful uh, time sitting out on the deck watching the stars and as the sky got darker and darker, kind of trying to identify constellations and planets. So um, we've been getting away from kind of the busyness of Croatia in the last couple of days. When we started, we picked up uh, Mike, Beth and Patty. It was outside of Split and our first night on anchor was a place that was full of boats, probably 30 boats at anchor. And as we were leaving at like nine o'clock in the morning, there was droves of boats coming in as well. So um, we got out of there and the place we anchored out last night, we were all alone. So quite the, quite the change, welcome change there. And it doesn't strike me as having a lot of boats here right now. Maybe there'll be more boats coming up the river later. Um, but we're, this is a Saturday, so this is a typical charter boat changeover day and we're not really next to a charter base so that might mean that we'll have a little bit uh, more time to ourselves a little bit quieter until boats change over and, and get to here from wherever their charter base is. Little marks along the river. In this area they seem to have a lot more lighthouses, very simple lights flashing at nighttime where we haven't seen that um, in the area from Split to Dubrovnik and definitely uh, elsewhere in Italy, haven't seen quite as many lighthouses and features like that, navigation marks, but they seem like they did a better job here, north of Split, than they have elsewhere. And all along the river, there's been these fish farms, uh, varying designs. This one's kind of funky with circles. Uh, other ones have like long lines along the uh, shore. And several of them have these huts that they're selling, um, well, so I guess I shouldn't call them fish farms because what they're selling on the signs it says mussels and oysters. So lots of them along here. You can see another one coming into view over here. And we're winding our way, we're about halfway up the river to the town of Scraton, which we'll stop at where we'll get on either a water taxi or uh, rent mountain bikes and go into the national park there where there's waterfalls and a place to swim and all that. So this is one of the like tourist attractions or main features of Croatia that people talk about and travel guides and one that we can reach by boat. So we're excited to experience that. So we'll be spending the day going up here up the river. Um, sun's starting to come out, which is good. We've had our first cloudy day in like, I don't know, two and a half weeks in Croatia. So when we woke up this morning, like clouds, what's, what's that? Yep, so he's selling fresh mussels and oysters. Looks pretty good. Very cool scenery here. Um, lots of layering going on. It's sedimentary layers in the rock and they're being bent up at all different angles. It's just really great to see. We finally made it to the town of Scraton, where private boats must stop navigating. I had this impression in my mind of Scraton, a busy, tacky trend shipment point for visitors to board tour boats for the waterfalls. I couldn't have been farther off. A name is from a dream Kept me up all night Feeling is surreal, stuck inside my mind. Your body in my arms, under moonlit skies. We're trying to count the stars till the sun will rise. I don't wanna wait, travel far away. If we leave today, will you tag along? Come on, tag along. Come on, tag along. Come on, tag along. We're walking on the sand. 
footprints on the beach So closely hand in hand Till we're out To see the actual waterfalls, you either need to take a tour boat or rent a mountain bike. We opted for the latter and had a scenic ride along the upper environs of the river before landing at the base of the waterfalls for a refreshing swim. It's alright, I can make it home by myself I've got your words inside my mind Nobody told me it was gonna turn out like this But that's alright, that's alright, that's alright At the top of the falls, one can check out the first hydroelectric dam in Croatia and some argue the first in the world. The competitor in this race was led by Nikola Tesla in Niagara, New York. But locals will tell you this Kirk operation was the first to deliver the actual hydroelectric power to a town back in 1895. I hope you've enjoyed this fourth video in our series on sailing the coast of Croatia. Look for more videos forthcoming as we sail further north into more desolate areas of the coastline and as we welcome more friends on board from far and wide. As always, we look forward to your comments and don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell to be notified of our upcoming releases. Fair winds! Thank you.